What are the most common misconceptions you hear about spray foam insulation? Well, the main thing is everybody goes, oh, you're gonna have a ton of mold, when that's the furthest thing from the truth. The reason why people get mold in an outside wall is because in the summertime, that outdoor air that's full of humidity and a warm, at a warm temperature, you bring it in, trying to bring it into a cooler space. Well, the dew point, you're gonna reach dew point then, and you're gonna create condensation. And then at any time you have water, you're gonna have mold. So if you have an insulation in that wall that allows outside air to come in contact with the indoor conditioned air, you're gonna probably get mold or condensation and then you're gonna get mold. But if you use a spray foam, and spray foam's done correctly, you're not gonna get mold. The only way you could possibly get mold is that if the heat and air man doesn't size the equipment properly and you get too much humidity inside the house, and that's because you're not pulling out enough of the moisture in the house because the thermostat's satisfied so quick. So if you can get your heat and air man to install like a five stage blower, uh, add an ERV to it or an HRV if you're up north, you can eliminate a lot of those things. And even in certain cases, you may need a whole home dehumidifier in line with the heating and air system. So the heating and air is very important when you insulate a certain way. So if you really make the house really tight, you gotta ventilate right.